Seattle supporters cheered as Karen Reed made her way into the courthouse. Reed is charged in the death of her boyfriend, Boston police officer John O'Keefe. Prosecutors allege that after arguing with O'Keefe, Reed dropped him off at a fellow officer's Canton home, then backed into him with her SUV and left him unconscious in a blizzard. Today, her attorneys asked the judge to drop Reed's $80,000 bail, saying she needs that money to clear her name, and she will. There will be no conviction because the evidence establishes her innocence. There is no jury anywhere who will ever vote to convict her for a crime she did not commit. Reed's attorneys accused the district attorney's office of failing to follow the real evidence in the case and of continuing to withhold key evidence from the defense, including O'Keefe's clothing and taillight pieces recovered at the scene. A year and a half and the defense still has not been allowed to so much as look at the physical evidence that the Commonwealth has had in its possession for 21 months and has so desperately withheld from the defense out of fear of what it might show. Any suggestion that we're desperately withholding evidence from the defend defense as we're afraid of what it might show is, is just patently ridiculous. Prosecutors say the evidence continues to be tested at the state crime lab. Uh, once this sort of round of testing uh, is completed, uh, we will certainly pick those items up and make them available for counsel. Now, the prosecution is asking that the bail remain intact. The judge has taken that matter under advisement.